Hi, I'm Ali. Welcome to my calculus class. In a short video, I want to teach you how to evaluate zero over zero limit by using Allopital's rule. So let's go to the lesson. Evaluate the limit of cube root of x minus one on top, x the square root of x minus one on the bottom as x approaches one. Step one to solve any kind of limit is using direct substitution. So plugging one into the problem, which gives me zero over zero. Zero over zero in a limit gives us the permission to apply Allopital's rule. How? By taking derivative of top and bottom of the fraction separately. So I have lim, the derivative on top. It seems to be a little difficult, no problem. Convert the radical form into the exponential form. So I have lim on top, the cube root of x is x to the 1 over 3 minus 1. And on the bottom, the square root of x is x to the 1 over 2 minus 1. Now take derivative of top and bottom of the fraction when you have a rational exponent. Okay, on top, the derivative of x to the 1 over 3, take the exponent in front and make and take away 1 from the exponent, which gives me minus 2 over 3. The derivative of minus 1 is 0, and that's 0. On the bottom, the derivative of x to the 1 over 2 is 1 over 2 x to the minus 1 over 2 and the derivative of minus 1 is 0. Now apply, now use direct substitution again. If I replace x with 1 on top I have 1 over 3 and on the bottom 1 over 2. The product of 1 and 2 goes on top and the product of 1 and 3 goes on the bottom. So the answer is 2 over 3. Tell me about this problem. x squared minus x on top. x squared minus x. And the bottom, step 1, use direct substitution. Very good. If I replace x on top, I have 0. On the bottom, again, 0. 0 over 0 gives us the permission to use Allopital's rule. So take derivative of top and bottom of the fraction separately. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x squared on the bottom is 2x. And the derivative of minus x is minus 1. Now, use direct substitution again. If I replace x with 1 on top, I have 2. And on the bottom, 2 minus 1, which gives me 2 as the final answer for this problem. Like always, it's your turn to test yourself. Evaluate this limit as x approaches zero by applying a L'Hopital's rule. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.